Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Corey, and I am going to do a tag video. I was tagged for the 50 useless facts about me by uh, Lucy Just Adds Color. So the tag was, I guess, initiated by Debbie over at Color Me Stress Free, but then she got her inspiration from Chloe Rose Arts. I think I got that right. <laughs> it took me a while to search it, but I think I got the, the chain. So basically it's just 50 questions. Um, I guess Chloe, Chloe Rose Arts did a uh, TMI tag, and so that's where the inspiration came from. So there's 50 questions in here, and I am going to go through them. And then, yeah, some of these I do have to skip because I don't know what they mean, <laughs> but most of them I can answer. So I'm going to work on this picture here. It is from the uh, Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls. It's a Hannah Lynn one, and it is Mermaid. It's a mermaid. I know she doesn't have a fin, but it's a girl on a beach, and it comes from, you know, mermaids and more to color. So pretty obvious it's a mermaid. And I'm practicing a new hair color, so <laughs> that's the other thing. But well, let's work on this while I answer all of these questions. Okay, what are you wearing? I am wearing basically what I wear Monday through Friday, and that is gym clothes. <laughs> so am I working out? No. But I wear the gym leggings and gym shirts because they're just comfortable. I don't know. That's just how I get dressed in the morning, Monday through Friday. Catch me on a weekend. It's probably like sweatpants for sure. All right. Um, ever been in love for question two? Yes, I would hope so because I am married. <laughs> My husband would probably be like, wait, what? If I said no. So yes, I have been in love. Um, you know, I'm in love with my husband, and then I've also had past relationships. I don't know how in-depth we have to go here. I mean, it is a TMI post, but still. So yes to number two. <laughs> Three, ever had a terrible breakup? Yes, I definitely have uh, with my son's dad. So my husband is not my son's um, biological father. So that was a pretty bad breakup. And I'm not going to go into details of that, other than it just involved a lot of court documents and headaches still to this day, and probably till he's 18. <laughs> so, yes, I have had a bad one and an expensive one at that. Um, okay, number four, how tall are you? Uh, so I've been watching everyone's tag, and uh, yeah, I am... I'm short compared to everyone else's answers. I am 5'2". Everyone else is like, oh, I'm 5'4", 5'6", 5'5", and I'm like oh, listening to these and going, oh my gosh, I'm so short. But yeah, I am 5'2", so let's just leave it at that. I'm a shrimp. Okay, number five, how much do you weigh? Such an unfair question. I uh, still am carrying the COVID weight, working on it, of course, but right now I weigh, <laughs> okay, whatever, I weigh 151 pounds, no, 153, working on losing it, though, back at, before COVID, I was like 125, <laughs> so trying to get back there, um, okay, number six, any tattoos, believe it or not, I have none, um, it's not because I don't like them. I think they're cool. Like my husband has tattoos and pretty cool ones. They just aren't for me, so I've never gotten one. Uh, number seven, any piercings? Yes. So my ears are pierced. Um, I used to have three holes. Oops. But my top uh, two have closed up, so now I really only have one hole in each ear. And then a long time ago, I used to have my nose pierced, took that out though, and that closed up. But other than that, I don't really have any other piercings going on. Let's see. Um, number eight is OTP. I Googled it, and I didn't get um, <laughs> very far with Google. I think it's a UK slang term. 
and maybe that's why I'm not finding it. But then I noticed a few of you doing this tag from the UK didn't know what it meant either, so I'm not sure. But if anyone knows what OTP means, can you leave that in the comments below? <laughs> I'm from the US, but I'm pretty sure it's a UK slang because all the US things for OTP made zero sense for this tag. Okay, number nine, favorite show. My favorite show is Grey's Anatomy. Love that show. Can't get enough. Um, every time they come out with a new season, I, I, it, yeah, it's ridiculous, but I start from season one and watch it all over again to just refresh and catch myself up so that I can watch the new season. That's how much I love that show. Let's see, number 10, favorite bands. Um... I'm just going to do a favorite band, because other than this band, the rest are just okay, but nothing like I love, or I mean, I would say is my favorite. So my favorite band is Snow Patrol. Uh, they always have been, ever since I discovered them a long time ago. They've been around for a long time now. Well, their music has. I don't think they're even around anymore. <laughs> I don't know, once I had kids, I stopped going to concerts and following music, but I still listen to them. So Snow Patrol for that. Uh, something you miss. <sighs> I miss just normalcy. I think we're all going to say the same thing um, in this COVID era. Like, I just miss, like, the kids, you know, going off to school, and then, you know, they'll come home from school, play, go play with friends, have play dates with baseball like we have baseball season going on right now it's kind of weird and awkward like they half of them are like you have to wear masks in the dugout others say you don't some people are wearing masks while watching the game others aren't because we're all so confused on what we're supposed to do <laughs> it's getting to the point where it's like what do you do do we still wear masks outside like i'm so lost so yeah i just miss that normalcy. I miss like being able to go into a grocery store without signs saying I have to wear a mask or um, like I said, you know, with the baseball season, it's very awkward and like someone comes to sit next to you and you have to put your mask on or you're like, you don't want to be rude and you're like, you know, so I just miss normal, <laughs> like <laughs> pre-pandemic everything. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that we loved to do that are gone permanently. They closed for COVID and they're not reopening. Like my kids Taekwondo, I miss that. Uh, it was really fun to go watch them. It was great exercise and just discipline in general. And that's gone forever. So I just miss life before COVID, to be honest. And that was a really long answer to number 11. <laughs> we got a ways to go. Number 12, favorite song. Okay, for me, that would be uh, Make This Go On Forever. It's a Snow Patrol song. And, you know, yeah, they're my favorite band, so that shouldn't be too much of a shocker, right? So, 13, how old are you? This is bad. I keep saying I'm 36, but I keep also pretending 2020 didn't happen. Um, it's 2021, so I'm actually 37. <laughs> But since 2020 didn't happen, I'm just going to keep saying I'm 36 because that's where my brain goes. But yeah, I am 37. Oy. Um, Let's see. Zodiac sign. I am a Capricorn. Okay. So it's really hard to do marker work and answer these questions because markers require me to work quickly. <laughs> Bad choice of medium. Um... See, quality you look for in a partner. Ooh. I'd have to say honesty. I mean, without honesty, there's no trust in a relationship. And without trust, well, what's the point, right? So I would just say honesty. I mean, you have to be willing to talk and be open about anything. No matter how bad it might be, you got to be able to get it out there and, like, that's one thing that's rather refreshing with my husband and I's marriage. We're very open and honest, even if it pisses off the other person. <laughs> um, like, you know, we've always had that. We even have our drop in the bucket, as we call it, 
uh, chats where you sit down and just straight up say, hey, this is ticking me off, or I've been frustrated about this, and you just kind of basically throw it all out there, what we call it drop in the bucket, where you basically, you everyone gets it all out of their chest because the bucket has filled up over the last couple weeks, months, whatever, and then we dump the bucket and start over and afresh, like no holding grudges once you dump the bucket, if that makes any sense. So honesty, because you wouldn't be able to do that kind of communication without it. You know, someone would keep it to themselves. Favorite quote is number 16. I don't really have a favorite quote. Um, so yeah, <laughs> actually I do have a favorite one, but it's not appropriate for YouTube because if I have any curse words, um, I have to say so when I submit my video for monetization. <laughs> so I have this book that's called Zen as you know what. Um, and it's a journal to help you just forget all the crap that goes on in daily life. And there's a, actually a quote in that book that I really love. So if you own that book, then you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, let's see, favorite actor. So is that just actor or are actresses included? Um, for actor, as in the male, I'd have to say Ryan Reynolds. I used to never like him until Deadpool and then like just watching him play that role, saw him in a whole new light and now I just love the guy. So Ryan Reynolds, um, but if it was actress, it would actually be Jennifer Aniston. I've loved her since she was in Friends, and I wish she was in more things, but Friends is what she's most known for, but she is definitely one of my favorite. She's just a good person overall. But let's see. Let me get this filled in. Um, favorite color. So if you've watched my channel, you've probably heard me say it before, but my favorite color is officially called Robin's Egg Blue. It is a tealish color. It's more popularly called Tiffany Blue because of the Tiffany Jewelry Company. All their boxes are that color. But yeah, the real name of that color is Robin's Egg Blue, and that is my favorite color. Very hard color to find and mimic. Um, like when you're buying, like for my new office, office decor, it's kind of hard to find that color <laughs> exactly. Um, let's see. So, loud or soft music? I'm definitely a soft music type of gal. Uh, when I even listen to it, uh, even in the car. I mean, I'll turn it up a little louder in the car to hear it over the traffic and freeway noise, but still, I like it soft. So, like, when my husband's blasting his music, I often, like, go into another room and close the door. <laughs> I just, it totally, like, bounces around in my skull or something. I don't know. Uh, where do you go when you're sad? Ooh, depends. Uh, most of the time I go to my room, I guess, because my bedroom is like my sanctuary. I just feel comfortable there. But I also go there when I'm happy, so it's not like a only sad moment. Number 21, how long does it take you to shower? Uh, well, if I'm washing my hair, which thanks to COVID has grown ridiculously long, I have probably 20 minutes. But if I'm literally just there to wash, I'm in and out. Um, especially with this new shower. It's one of those open ones, no door. It's a walk-in shower, so you like walk in this small hall, turn, and then there's the shower. It's so awkward and weird, and I'm getting used to it, and we got vaulted ceilings. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of things, too much information. I guess that's what this tag was all about anyway, but yeah, so it's like five to ten minutes. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Most mornings I can get ready in ten minutes or less because I am washing my face, brushing my teeth, and throwing on my gym clothes to not work out in. Um, but if I was actually going somewhere and I had to put on makeup and do my hair, I'd probably say half hour, 45 minutes, just because I have a lot of hair and to like curl it or straighten it or whatever will take some time. I don't do a ton of makeup, so even if I was putting on makeup, that part doesn't take very long. Okay, um, 
Um, 23, ever been in a physical fight? I've been in a few. <laughs> I'm not violent, though. The most notorious, though, is third grade. Uh, this boy, for whatever reason, he came up and slapped me. And instead of returning a slap, I actually punched him. And I got suspended, but my parents rewarded me handsomely for defending myself. <laughs> and so it's kind of something I teach my kids. I'm like, you know, if you ever get in a fight, but you're protecting yourself, you will not be in trouble by me. But if you start the fight, different story. So yes, uh, that's the most notorious. I have been in others, but that was honestly the most serious one, I guess. I actually socked him pretty good. <laughs> so um, let's see. What is a turn on is number 24. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> things my husband does. I <laughs> don't know how to answer that. Um, 25, what is a turn off? I feel that so so awkward. Um, yeah, I'm gonna skip this. <laughs> my husband who watches my YouTube, he knows what is a turn on and turn off for me. I don't have to broadcast it. Uh, let's see. Number 26, the reason I joined YouTube. So uh, when I first started adult coloring, no one I knew liked to do it. Like no friends, no family. I was kind of a lone wolf in it. Um, and I wanted to kind of learn coloring techniques, so I started watching YouTube. And the first YouTubist, colorist, uh, I had seen was Color with Claire. I did a color along for Ivy and the Inky Butterfly with her. And I just, you know, every day I would keep watching and learning techniques. And then one day I was like, you know, I'd like to make my own, kind of be part of this coloring community because there was like, I, I had my own techniques and ways to do things and I thought it'd be fun to share. So that's, I just created a YouTube one day and here I still am. It's only been just over a year with my YouTube. Uh, 27, fears. That's a really long list, but um, I guess my biggest fears would be, you know, just losing my family you know, kids, um, my mom, my dad, my husband. And by the way, I didn't list those in any particular order because <laughs> I know husband was at the end. <laughs> um, you know, my husband is a firefighter, runs into burning buildings for kicks, as I like to joke about it. But um, so that is a big fear of mine that one day, you know, someone will show up at my doorstep with not such great news. But I try not to think about that because if I were to, every time he went to work, I would be pretty bonkers by now. Okay, number 28, last thing that made you cry. Well, this is hard to answer because if you haven't seen Grey's Anatomy, I don't want to do a spoiler. <laughs> I am re-watching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> yes, my favorite show, but it's because I need to watch season 16. I got issues, okay? Let's just leave it at that. But a certain character died in the season I'm on and I cry like a baby every time, even though I know she di dies because I've rewatched Grey's like five times now. So yeah, it made me cry again. So that was the last time I cried and that was just a couple days ago. Um, last time you said you loved someone it was probably about an hour ago when my husband was leaving to take our dog to the vet <laughs> for her shots. I always say I love you, you know, before he leaves. Uh, let's see. Um, number 30, meaning behind your YouTube name. So there's no, like, real meaning behind it. I was trying to think of something catchy and fun because at my core, I am a writer, or at least that's how I started in the freelance world as a writer. And so I was just trying to think of something you know, that uh, worked. And a phrase I tend to say a lot is like, I'm cautiously optimistic. So one day I was sitting there and I'm like, oh, you know what? I can be colorfully optimistic. So I just swapped cautiously for colorfully and that is my name. And 
I actually liked it. I mean, I had a whole list of names and constantly was crossing them out, and this one just popped in my head one day. Uh, let's see. Number 31, the last book you read. That was actually... So, yeah, the last book I read was The Witcher, the first book. Those things are really hard to read. Uh, I know they were translated from Polish, and apparently the first one is, like, rough, and supposedly the rest are better. But I, after reading the first, I had zero desire to pop on to the second because I was just like, oh, <laughs> it was rough. It was bouncing all over the place. I'm not going to spoil it because you may want to read it. Other people loved it, though, so don't just take my word on that one. Um, book you're currently reading. So I am rereading the um, Alex Cross series from James Patterson. A long, long time ago, I had read the first two Alex Crosses, and now there's like 12 or 20 of them. I'm way behind. So yeah, I decided to start over in the series. So I'm reading the first one, which is Along Came a Spider. There's actually a movie for that one. Um, the Alex Cross series, or at least the ones I had read back in the day, are really good. I don't know how they get near the end um, of the series. And I think he's finally done writing them, but I'm not sure. So that's what I'm currently reading. <sighs> Last show you watched, uh, Grey's Anatomy, because that's what I'm rewatching right now. <laughs> um, last person you talked to, that would be my daughter uh, while we were doing her homework, actually. The relationship between you and the, the last person you texted, uh, that would be my mother. So I'm, you can assume the relationship there. She's my mom. <laughs> I don't know how, how else to define that. Um, let's see. Favorite food. Oh, hands down, enchiladas. Put a plate of enchiladas in front of me. I'll eat them all. I don't even care. Love enchiladas. So it's a good thing I moved to Utah where they can't make proper Mexican food because otherwise I'd be so screwed. Whereas I'm originally from California where the Mexican food is... Ugh, so amazing. Um, okay. Place you want to visit for 37. I really one day would love to go see like Hawaii, take the kids. We were actually just talking about that the other day, how we would do that once they are older and can tolerate the flight for one, but two, appreciate it, you know, and all its beauty and stuff. Um, 38, last place you were, uh, my kid's school, even though they're schooling at home right now, um, the district requires like this end of year testing, so I had to drop them off there today. Otherwise, the answer, if I would have done this on a different day, would have been, um, home, <laughs> my kitchen. Let's see. Uh, do you have a crush? Well, I am married to my husband, so I would hope that I would have a crush on him, right? So, yes, I do. <sighs> 40, last time you kissed someone. Mm. Oh, oh, actually, it was this morning I kissed my youngest on the head to say good morning to her because she's so stinking cute. She's five, but she's my baby. And she needs to quit growing, like, ASAP. We need to halt the growth process. Okay, last time you were insulted... Hmm. It was actually on YouTube, <laughs> but I mean, who could be shocked by that, right? Uh, welcome to the internet. Um, but it was actually a few weeks ago. It's just one of the times where you get those comments that aren't so great on your YouTube channel. Let's see. Sorry, I got to adjust the paper here. Um, favorite flavor of sweet. So I'm a sweet and salty person, so like I absolutely love toffee, toffee anything. Um, the most like easiest or popular candy bar out here with toffee is like the Heath Bar. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Yeah, my in-laws own a candy shop and they send me toffee for like Mother's Day, my birthday, when I was pregnant and craving it. Um, <laughs> it's dangerous. I love toffee, toffee peanuts also. So yeah, I can do kettle corn also because that's sweet and salty. Um, what instruments do you play? 
I can play the piano. I took a bunch of lessons as a kid, so piano is about really the only instrument I can play. Um, favorite piece of jewelry. It is my wedding ring and engagement ring. And you'll notice I'm not wearing them. I used to in my videos. However, I have gained so much weight that they don't fit. And I refuse to go get them resized because they will fit once I lose my weight. Um, and just not even two weeks ago is when they stopped fitting. And that was kind of my realization moment that I need to get my butt in gear because my wedding ring and engagement ring don't fit me. So definitely need to work on that. Last sport you played. Well, I was playing catch, baseball catch with my son. So I guess we'll say baseball because I was helping him warm up. Um, last song you sang. I don't really sing. <laughs> I listen. Uh, I, but honest to God, I don't sing. <laughs> so, um, if I had to like say a song, it would be the days of the week song while I was helping my daughter with her uh, preschool assignment. Uh, so yeah, that's a really embarrassing <laughs> answer though. The days of the week song. Okay, um, favorite chat up line. I don't even know what chat up is. I googled it and it looks like some sort of app. Um, but I don't use it so I don't have really a favorite chat up line. And then question 48 is have you ever used it? Um, answer obviously no. 49. Last time you hung out with anyone, um, well, with my family, that's daily, but if you mean outside of my family, that would be at my daughter's softball practice last weekend, but it wasn't really hanging out. It was just parents sitting there waiting for practice to be over, <laughs> so that, um, and then, okay, number 50, who should answer these questions next? So I've picked a few people. Hopefully you haven't been tagged already while I'm in the process of recording this and then in the 24 hours it takes to upload because of my <laughs> internet. If you have, then you've been tagged multiple times. Um, I tag Rosie Crafted Colors, The Velia's Coloring, and Elm Colors for the next people who should, you know, do the TMI but thank you so much, Lucy, for tagging me. I've been really naughty about following through with tags. I apologize to anyone who tagged me in March and the beginning of April, and I never got to them. I probably won't. It's just been too nuts around here. Um, but now that things have died down and, you know, all that, I can actually participate in tags. So thank you for tagging me and um, including me, even though I've been so naughty about them in the last couple of months. And I'm looking forward to watching everyone who's been participating. I love watching and like hearing everyone's answers. And then I look forward to hearing from the three that I've tagged. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, take care.